Scientists made an official announcement today that they may have found a ninth planet orbiting beyond Pluto. I just hope it's real because I cannot get hurt again. That's right, researchers at the California Institute of Technology have found evidence pointing to a ninth planet. The celestial body was found by astronomers Mike Brown and Constantine Batigan and given the name Planet Nine. Apparently we're just naming planets as lazily as Fast and Furious movies. In a twist about as shocking as astronomy ever gets, it was actually Dr. Brown's discovery of similarly Pluto-sized planets in 2006 that was the main reason why Pluto was demoted to its current status as a dwarf planet. Now Pluto's back, and it's got a score to settle. This summer in Planet Nine, Too Furious. Now, I know what you're thinking. How could we have never noticed this thing before? Well, for starters, this planet makes its orbit around the sun once every 15,000 years. So the last time this guy showed up, humans didn't have as much time to stargaze since they were still making sure they could get through the day without being clubbed to death. Planet Nine was discovered when Brown and Batigan noticed a cluster of objects that had a strange orbit outside of Neptune. They believe that there's only a 1 in 15,000 chance that the clusterings could be a coincidence. Instead, they think that a planet with a mass of 10 Earths has actually altered the orbits of those objects. If that were the case, then Planet Nine would win all sorts of weird records. Its closest approach to the Sun would be seven times farther than Neptune and may even travel up farther than the Kuiper Belt, which is where the pathetic rock formerly known as a planet Pluto currently resides. It would also give Planet Nine the distinction of having the largest orbit of any planet in our solar system. Now I have the same question about Planet Nine as I do about my girlfriend. What would it look like if it actually existed? Brown and Batigan believe that for the math to work, it would have to be the size of a mini Neptune and would most likely have a thick, gaseous atmosphere around a rocky core. It's possible that the planet could have been the start of another gas giant during the birth of our galaxy. It would have then been ejected into the far reaches of the solar system after a close pass to Jupiter. Scientists are excited to find out if the planet is real, as it could have a positive impact on future space travel. If Planet Nine is verified and has sufficient mass, we could potentially use its gravity to slingshot satellites, or even future astronauts, out of our own solar system, thereby making the craziest scene in Interstellar a reality. Hopefully, Dr. Brown's newest discovery will soon be fully confirmed by telescope finally filling that ninth planet-sized hole in our hearts. Hey, thanks for watching The Daily Desk. If you like what you saw, click to subscribe, comment below, share the link with a friend or an enemy. I don't care.